if you putting out content or you putting out work and your audience likes it, then it's it's fine. Just because I may not like the photo or I may think the photographer didn't edit right or you may, I didn't like the pose. I, 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 I try to not do that anymore. All right, moving on, there was a, a, another point um, about the quality of the content that, that we're posting um, online. And so from photos, to flyers, to videos, whatever. Um, yeah. What is your wisdom to give in regards to that? All right, so this is what I learned having a magazine. You know how people say quality matters? Uh-huh. It's, it's also subjective, right? Yeah. So, for example, models hit me up all the time. They'll ask me, what do I think of their photos? I used to give my opinion based off of if I preferred that type of photography. So let's say, for example, for example, the photos that's in my magazine, I do prefer the way that those photos are shot. But it does not mean I don't like the darker fantasy type of photos. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I've learned to not say what is what is quality. Everybody, everybody looks at it differently. Um, it's subjective. If you're putting out content or you're putting out work and your audience likes it, then it's it's fine. Just because I may not like the photo or I may think the photographer didn't edit right or you may, I didn't like the pose. I I, 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 I try to not do that anymore. Right. You know, um, you know, being in Milwaukee since we don't have a modeling market and I've been around for so long, I've also experienced I get my pen on a photographer's work and then that photographer may like, like me, I had no idea. That's why I always tell people you never know who's watching. I gave a pin, I could, I gave a pin about their work, and they got back to them that, oh, John, I don't like your work. So now I lost somebody who was watching me and they, they like what I do. So I've literally learned to it, it's it's subjective. I can't necessarily say what is quality um, as long as your audience likes it. Like I hear, like I hear the same thing on YouTube where they say. The quality of the video matters. But then I see people with where it look like they 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 uh videos are shot in 480, but they giving out game and knowledge. So mm -hmm. it's like, yeah, it's a bad video, but the information that's in the video is more valuable than how the video looks. Absolutely. Absolutely. So it's like I, I, I try not to do that. Like I don't even make stats anymore about quality matters um because it matters but it's subjective to your audience if anything just put out content right that's the thing with me. It's, it's quality matters but it's like you don't know what quality is unless you put out a lot of content and that's yeah. that's quantity um so i, I kind of look at them differently now instead of just specifically just saying quality over over quantity because uh, you don't know what your audience likes in, unless you're putting out a whole lot of stuff. So, yeah, that's one of those questions where it's like, I got to be in a bad mood to, to straight up answer that question. <laughs> so I don't, I, I, I stay away from that question. Because uh, that's another thing where it, it can be a little, it's, it's, it's subjective. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I mean, it's right. You're right. It's definitely subjective. And it still, I think, depends to on um the, i don't know like maybe the, the, the okay this, this i guess this is the point that i'm trying to make i think the people who care more about the quality of video are going to be other professionals yeah yeah it is it's, yeah it's usually your peers that judge that and not necessarily the audience right it's the peers. That's why I'm saying I photographers, even though I'm not a photographer, they're still my peer. We still in the same market. We are trying to grow this market. 
I don't want to say my opinion about a photographer's work and that model now don't want to work with him because I influenced her opinion of him. Mm. I, I stopped going. I, I, I leave it completely alone. If that right. photographer's getting booked, people like his work, but don't let my opinion influence you from working with that photographer or that makeup artist because of something that I said. So I, I, I keep it completely away. It, it's usually the peers that's determining that. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Because I think that I, um, we're living in a time today where um, I mean things are really, really changing. Like people are we we're we're used to like he say you could take a really bomb somebody could take a really great photo of a great quality whatever, but then somebody can be in a club dark. You can't see nothing <laughs> in the video, and they still get a whole bunch of views. You know what I mean? Yep. They still get a whole bunch of likes because that's what we're used to now. Really, uh, as as a as a just not as a professional, but just as a viewer and as a social media user, we're used to seeing darker videos, or we're used to people just going, you know, live or whatever, like right on their phone. So I think that's just what we're used to anyway. Um, but I think if we're putting together like this something that we're that we're calling a production in a sense, whether it's a photo, a movie, a series, or whatever, if it's a production, then I think there should ought to be definitely greater expectations. It should be be really, really dope. You know what I mean? Or yeah, or yeah. possible. Um, I've definitely offended people myself. There were people who in videography, there's at least two people for sure who I knew was doing videography about five years ago. And one, and one of those gentlemen, I actually communicated to some people that I ain't like his work. Uh, but yeah, I actually communicated to someone that I ain't like his work. I was like, you don't do no good work. I don't like his work, Ooh, whatever. And um, but here we are four or five years later. He, I mean, he is actually amazing now. Like, you know what I mean? He's able to, and, and, you know, it's definitely grown, um, and not grown by my by my standards. You know what I'm saying? But there is a great difference between just where he was. You know what I'm saying? Just period, three or four years ago. Um, and then I think every, but no matter what your almost no matter what your idea is, or what it is that you want to do, there's eight billion or more people on this earth. Somebody. Yep. What you have. somebody gonna like it, yeah. Right. You know, what yeah. I mean? if, it, if it ain't if it ain't within the five thousand people in your friends list, you just targeting the wrong people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everything has everything does have a standard. Everything has a standard. I I, I do believe that. Um, so I can understand you've been in the game for years and you still look like how you how you how you came in. Um, but usually for people that are coming into something like modeling or photography, their work isn't that good, but it's still somebody who likes it. Right. So even if I may not care for the, the photographer's work or the model's work, I have to understand, or they just started. Now, if, if, if they've been in a long time, then my opinion may be a little bit more straightforward, but, um, in general, yeah, I, I've learned somebody's gonna like it. um and it's usually the peers that's being the toughest on each other people who do the same thing or, or the same similar thing they're usually the toughest on each other yeah yeah 